America is a pedophile country. That all they do is glorify sex and, you know, shit like that. You know, and black people have, are being sexually abused. God told me that because I wanted to be a black activist. I wanted to be a black activist. And I remember telling my father when I was a little girl, teenager, young adult, that daddy, I want to I wanna, uh, advocate for black people. And he would always be quiet. He would never really encourage me too much to do it. But he would say like, oh, if you put your mind to something, you can do it. But it was almost like he didn't really want me to do it. And now I understand why. Because black people being abused. And when I started to make raps and stuff about Sandra Bland, um, Breonna Taylor, Kareem Gaines, stuff like that, because I express myself through song. Most of the time, uh, God, like, he let me do it, you know. He let me do it, you know. But at some point, he had to let me know when I was at Henry Brown in them house. And Henry Brown and Ken and Joy was trying to force me to have sex with them and then set me up. And I asked them, I said, they poisoned me and my baby. Are you going to take up for me? And I had got a, a, a conversation of me telling Henry Brown what they did to me and the baby. And then Henry Brown said, no, I'm not going to take up for you, but I want sex from you. And I was like, wow, I recorded it. And the phone that I had recorded it on, went. it just stopped working with a bunch of evidence of stuff that they was doing to me inside of that phone. And so um, Google won't let me access my account um, with pictures and photos and stuff in it that have evidence. Um, and so basically, uh, Henry Brown and them was doing that to me and God had told me um, to get up and run up out of the house. Henry Brown tried to call a police officer while I was inside of the building in the home and I was doing the same thing I'm doing now, talking about what they did to me, telling the truth about my pregnancy and my son. I wasn't bothering anybody and he set it up to bring, to call a police officer. He called 911 in the morning time while I was asleep. I was asleep on the couch. He had already asked me um, if I wanted to leave. I said, do you want me to leave? He said, no, you don't have to leave. I'm going to look out for you. But he was trying to get sex. He ended up calling the police while I was asleep on the couch. And God warned me and told me they tried to do a satanic blood ritual on you and the gang of other black females that they calling themselves having warrants for them. But they don't have anything on you and you need to get up and run. Don't worry about your bags. Don't worry about your hair. Don't worry about nothing because this black man is over here trying to set you up. And it was a black female officer that they had show up to the scene to try to make the arrest and, you know, that's how they'll use black officers. They'll use black people to try to be the ones to arrest a pregnant woman or to set a pregnant woman up so that the white people can say, we're not racist. A black officer arrested you. We're not racist. A black man was the one who set you up. You know, and that, that's what the black people in America, that's what they're doing. The police officers and the black men. And God told me, you need to get up and you need to run up out of here. And then he showed me, he was like, these black women that they rounding up are being sexually abused. He said, you cannot fight for black people you cannot try to be an activist for black people because black people are being so badly sexually abused by whites in America that they will kill you for trying to stand up for them because that's how bad they want the sex that's how bad they want to abuse black people for our bodies in America that there is no real such thing as a black activist in America and God even told me you cannot be a real black activist that's why I said I'm the new civil rights leader but I ain't never said I was no black activist because black people are being sexually abused First of all, I want to uh, talk about Beyonce. She, uh, I heard, get me body while we're standing on the wall. I just want, can you get me body, get me body. And then she said, uh, it was one little verse that, uh, cause I was in City Trends the other day, getting me a suitcase yesterday. And I heard, uh, Beyonce singing, um, grinding and all that stuff. And she was saying something about, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I ain't ashamed cause I gotta get mine. Uh, and then she was talking about, uh. Putting her body all over. And I said, oh, she was singing about sex. Because, see, sometimes we hear the lyrics and we don't really, really think about it. And she was like, maybe all I want is to let it mm -hmm. Baby, dance with me. Give me body. Let me come closer to me while we grind to the beat. And your body over my body. You know, you talking about sex. 
And what really pointed me out, what really pointed it out when I see her on the stage with her legs all open and all of that in front of all of them. And then, um, uh, you know, all of the singers are talking about sex. Uh, Summer Walker, uh, the body song that she got and, you know, all the songs is, uh, about sex. Ella Mae, um, not another love song. She, uh, she said, I, I want to do this again. You want to do what? You want to fuck again. All right, uh, and uh, you know, we, we used to the Trina. We, you know, told y'all bitches get down now. Hey, you know, we grew up off of that, but we, we, we really don't know. We didn't know what was going on because we was kids. You know what I'm saying? But as far as us being grown now and we the ones who they want to sexually abuse and, you know, turn out and all of that shit, you know, um, it opened my eyes when God told me what it was. And so I listened to, um, Ari Lennox. Um, BMO. Take form in this ocean like water, water. I don't know if that was BMO, but um, she was like, I'll run right through you. And I'm proud of black people because black people are so talented, it's very beautiful, very alluring, but we are being sexually exploited and abused. And God had to tell me, Andrea, they abusing y'all sexually. So it's one thing when we try to stand up just for normal abuse, but when it's lust involved, it's more serious. It's more deadly. Then they're willing to do anything to keep that control over us. And so uh, you have to keep us at a point where we're willing to do anything for our necessity and to make it in this country. And then you could turn out our bodies. And that's what's wrong with the black homes. That's what's wrong. Black women is being exploited. How can a black man really call a black woman your wife when we're being exploited in America? And I went and listened to all the males, and they all being exploited too. And it's okay to want to have fun and be sexy and want people to love you and all of that stuff, but it's like that's all they want. You know, you don't hear no real lyricists no more, like, Carmen and, you know, like, Everybody started just making it all about sex. And then so now they want to try. They they moving in everything. They're trying to move into pedophilia right now. Because um, they already doing it. And that's why they feel like they got the right to snatch people. Kids, you snatching my little boy from me like I'm some fucking breeder. Like I'm a fucking slave. And then think you're going to do whatever you want to do to my child. And it's a boy. And they pushing this uh, satanic homosexual agenda. And I want my child with me. Right over here with this Bible. And that's why nobody is giving me the help or the support. Because they know if I had the help and the support, they would have to give me my child. But they're trying to do some satanic bullshit. So they're trying to have me all fucked up outside. So they could say, oh, that white judge don't have to tell that lady to give me back my son. And God said they didn't have no right to take them away. They didn't have no right to give them to her in the first place. And he said, that's why Lily Morris and them were trying to set me up to be killed. Because they knew they should never have gave her child to no goddamn witch.